Well, I'm going to run a few tankfuls of, uh, I call this test tube, but it'll take me, well, you'll see this right away, but it'll take me several days to do this. Um, I'm going to run a, a few tankfuls of diesel with, um, <clears throat> say, about an ounce of this 91% uh, 90, isopropyl alcohol per tankful. Um, in this old perfection heater, it's a model 1550 with 100% cotton wick. Uses the perfection 500 wick. We'll see what happens. You know, I know when you first light it up with the top off, it smokes, and I close it, it doesn't smoke. Um, and I'll be doing this outside because it's too hot here in Florida. I mean, it's not really hot, but it's definitely would be freaking roasting hot inside if I was going to run this heater inside. But uh, I'll be able to tell if it's putting out a bad smell just from even being outside. And it should work like my other one, I'm assuming. It's this one under here. This one. That's got 100% cotton wick in it. I'm never, I don't know where to get a replacement for it. <laughs> a replacement wick like that. So, but these, they sell 100% cotton wicks work for. And they, well, we'll see. I'm going to run three freaking tankfuls out of this stuff. Just, you know, spend the money on the diesel. And this will be test two. And then, with the other test I did, with the other uh, diesel I ran, that'll be four tankfuls. And if that works, eh, well, let's assume it's, uh, well, at least it works pretty good. I mean, we'll see if, you know, the other one I've been using, that one over there, I just pointed out, it's under the plastic. That has been working many, many dozens of times with diesel. So, I assume the same thing with this. I think it's the cotton wick that's the difference. Well, it looks like it's running nice and smooth. There's like a breeze out here. It's, I'm under a carport. Um... And you can see the flame is nice and even, even with this breeze kicking up. You know, there's a wind, right? So, we'll get this, this we'll run this out, see how it works, and then we'll do it two more times, and I'll post it. Well, I've been running about five hours, and uh, just wanted to see how much fuel it used. Um, not even half a tank. See right there. So full is all the way to the right. You can see the needle where it's sitting. It's on number just almost three quarters of a tank. Here's the level inside. I don't know if you can see that good. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty full. I didn't even have it up to the very top, so it's been running about five hours. So it looks like I can get a good ten hours out of this for uh, running this on diesel. It probably runs a little longer on diesel, so. <laughs> Amazing man, amazing stuff. Well, I'm going to say that this this uh, diesel in the uh, old style kerosene heater, this is the Perfection 1550. I think it works. I'm using BP diesel, ultra low sulfur, and uh, I put about an ounce of uh, isopropyl alcohol, 90%, in, in the tank uh, when I filled it up. I don't see any problem. I ran it. 13 hours today, uh, about a good hour, eight hours the other day, and doesn't seem to be any problems. No smoke, no nothing. Um, so I assume it works, but uh, I mean, I guess you could really, you know, if you really want to be more cautious about this, maybe you want to put 50 50, but you know, 50% diesel, 50% kerosene, but I don't, you know, save you a couple bucks there, but. It doesn't seem to use a lot of fuel. I don't know if you can see down there in that gauge. No, you can't. Not in the camera. But it's not. It's not using too much fuel. It's not too bad. I mean, I can run this thing a long time on a tank. It's got a nice flame. So I see it works. Um, my chest, so I guess that's about 13 hours today, about 8 hours, um, I'll let this run a couple more hours while I'm uploading this, I'll just let this run some more, and we'll figure by the time I upload this, it'll be running, ooh, about 23, 24 hours, and, you know, usually by the end you'd know if the thing's screwed up or not, but, um, it doesn't look, it doesn't show any signs of freaking screwing up, so, 
I say it works. It's just 100% cotton wick. So that's test two. I'll just call that test two, final test. And uh, maybe if it does clog the whip, wick up after several months or something, maybe you got to run half kerosene, half diesel. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. So anyway, anyway, let's uh, you know just to re-rate the point. I think it does work. Just it's 100% cotton wick. That's what this is. It's a Perfection 500 100% cotton wick, and this is a Perfection 1550 heater. I think all the Perfection heaters use that same uh, Perfection 500 all cotton wick, and it can stand using, it'll work with diesel. That's, I'm using ultra low sulfur diesel BP brand specifically, and uh, one ounce of isopropyl alcohol in the mix. Uh, in a, you know, in a tank of gas, it seems to burn nice and clean. I thought there was a, there's a little smoke when you first started up. Started up, I started up outside. You know, there is no smoke coming out of it. It's like I'll see heat waves. That's what the hell you'll be seeing out of it. So it uh, burns very, very clean. Um, like I said, I checked mine last year with uh, the other heater with uh, the carbon monoxide uh, tester didn't show anything and I and I couldn't smell nothing coming out of it. it smelled like it burned cleaner than the kerosene so I guess you gotta go to old style wicks for this to work